Welcome to this video. Uh, we're going to look at how to address the traveling salesman problem uh, with Azure ML, Azure Machine Learning, uh, Power Map, and Power BI. So, to set this context slightly, uh, imagine a COO who's in charge of a fleet of vehicles that service their customers. It could be a delivery firm, it could be an engineering firm, it could be anybody, any kind of firm that that has a, a an in-house fleet of engineers servicing people that go out on the road in, in uh, company-owned vans. And the COO's noticed an increase, uh, a kind of an increase in costs associated with that fleet of vehicles and, and wants to try and uh, address that and, and has discovered that the actual drivers themselves are responsible for, for their own route planning and wants to try and tackle that head on to see if any route optimization techniques can be utilized to help reduce the overall costs of the fleet. So here's a report to help monitor whether that route optimization is going to be effective. So there's three key metrics. There's an actual fuel saving. There's a number of hours uh, that can be saved through um, less requests for overtime plus actual maintenance of the, the fleet itself. You know, can that be reduced by um, yeah, better route optimization? So route optimization and the traveling salesman problem, that's really what this, this is about. So let's just recap that, that quickly. So the traveling salesman problem is, is rooted in academia. So let's just quickly review that and then we can apply that information to our, our solution. So imagine these dots and, and the blue dot is the service center and the white dots are the customers that are located. And what we want to do is, is visit every customer starting at the service center and returning back to the service center after we've visited each and every customer just the once. So there's various algorithms out there to, to work out the most optimal route, whether it's the most optimal or the, or the best route, depending on um, whether you want an exact, uh, you want to run all the permutations or whether a, a kind of an approximation is, is more appropriate. So most start by by providing a, a random route and then optimizing based on that first pass. So first pass we've got 31.6 miles and we'll iterate another route so we'll change just the first leg. That first leg is quite big so if we change that first leg and then change all the other legs following that first one, where do we end up with? So pass two and uh, yep we've improved the on distance so that's 24.4 miles so let's try a third iteration and this time we'll just change the second leg of the journey and yep we've reduced it to 23 miles so we've made an optimization based on distance so there's um, that that's essentially the the traveling salesman problem in a nutshell how do we go about solving the problem of reducing the the length to visit all of the customers and that's kind of great, but in the real world, we not only have length, we also have um, the actual road network. So here we're, we're going from as the crow flies, but there's a road network. So we want a route that's going to actually follow the road network. And also with that, it's not just about distance. It's also about time as well. We want to make sure that we can optimize against distance. We can also optimize against time or we can optimize against a combination of distance and time to provide us with a, a kind of best route for the scenario. And talking of scenarios, we also want a route optimization algorithm that is real world and knows about a potential incident and, and reworks the route accordingly. So how do we go about doing this? Essentially, an input process output a solution whereby the input we have a set of starting points so those are the service centers we have a set of um, visit points so those are the customers in this case plus we also pack and pass in some traffic info weather time of day etc and then the processing is is two pass and within the processing we're using the Bing mapping API so we'll first cluster the visit points so we'll work out the best um, service center for each customer and this could vary based on time of day, road network, etc. 
and then once we've clustered that visit point to those uh, service centers we can then optimize the uh, individual routes and the output of that is the optimized route and we can display that with um, with power map which we'll, we can do now so here's the, here's the result so the orange is uh, the service centers uh, the green line the green bubbles when they appear they're the customers so we first need to cluster the customers to a service center then once we've clustered the, the um, customers we can optimize the route and here we have all of the optimized routes Thanks very much.